No more sleeping on spaghetti squash. but this is where I go to pee when I hike. Every time I have to pee when I get here. <laughs> I'm wearing this camouflage jacket, so I feel like nobody's ever gonna be able to tell. Never had a nicer view while peeing. I haven't curled my hair for like six months or something. I'm gonna go meet my friend Melanie and we're gonna shoot some videos. Something that came up on YouTube in the comments after Maria and I's video talking about just pursue your passion is how do I pursue my passion when I don't know what it is? And I think that a lot of people feel that way. But something that a lot of people talk about is just follow your curiosity. But I wanna go further because for me, yes, I can be curious about something, but until I actually invest in that thing and really give it a shot, it can be so easy to be overwhelmed when we go into something new because obviously we're not gonna be good at it from the beginning. I feel like the more time I invest, the more this thing actually ends up meaning to me. And then sometimes, obviously, when we follow our curiosity, we realize that it's not for us. We our entire life have been taught to follow these specific norms of society and our family and not pay attention to our own needs as much as other people's needs and wants for us. And of course, it comes from a place of them wanting to protect us but that also makes it really hard when we grow up and we then don't know what we're supposed to and meant to do because we have never learned to actually listen to that gut feeling, listen to what we want for ourselves. We're so used to letting everyone else's opinions matter more than ours. I think that's a skill like anything else, which means because it's a skill, it's something that we can teach ourselves and it's something that we can learn to understand. We just gotta learn to listen to ourselves. I've definitely gotten better at it over time. It was not easy in the beginning. It's still not always easy, but when we practice, we get better. It's two minutes later and the curls are completely gone. This is Melanie. Hello. We just shot a bunch of TikToks and reels. She is so fun to watch. You guys need to go watch her videos and she's like an incredible dancer. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's you. <laughs> but thank you. No. We're at Hollywood Boulevard with the stars. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Starlight. So bright. <laughs> A little lunch. I just came home and made a little salad with this everything bagel seasoning. And then I'm heating up some soup. Salmon and I have been getting very much along lately. Really been enjoying it. If you're at home right now watching your YouTube video and you had said to yourself that you were done eating for the day, me bringing up Bill Bar may not be the most fun, but it kinda is. Cause then you can be prepared for another day where you feel like a little snack because I'm about to have myself a dessert, which is Bill Bar Puffs. This one's the Ruby Chocolate and it tastes a little bit like a marshmallow mixed with Ruby Chocolate, which is delicious. If you're trying to watch your calories, then this is an incredible bar. It only has 150 calories. And if you're trying to up your protein, it has 17 grams of protein, which is a lot of protein for what tastes like a candy bar. So that is my dessert. What I like to do with this one is to just almost let it melt on my tongue. It has no preservatives, it's gluten free, it's delicious. They have so many different delicious types of chocolate bars. If you use my code, you can get a discount. So if you wanna try them out, you'll save some money.
I want to show you my little morning routine setup. So I do the meditation and then I have my journal where I write three pages. That's something new. I started three pages, whatever comes to my mind. And sometimes I'm like, wait, what should I talk about? But then it's like, write about my goals, write about what I'm grateful for, go through a situation I'm struggling with. And then I have my gratitude journal and I started doing three things I'm grateful for. But now I'll often fill up a full page like this, which is supposed to be for a full week. And sometimes it asks me questions. And today it asks me, write about one experience experience that you're grateful for that shaped who you are today. And I wanted to share this with you because what I really realized as I was writing this, every time that something massive has changed, it's been because of me reading a self-development book. In case you've wanted to read some book but you haven't done it yet, it's so powerful. The first time I read a self-development book, I was 16 in high school and that was like the start of my journey. And then the second one that I read, I'd gotten to LA and it completely shifted my self-belief. Incredible growth started happening and now I listen to them, which is not as powerful but I choose to do it that way because I know with myself that that's more time effective. But when I do have the time, then reading definitely makes me absorb it better. So if you are willing to prioritize actually reading it, I think is the best thing. And then I have this journal, my to-do list. I get really creative in the morning, so that's when I get the best ideas, oftentimes while I'm journaling. And so I put it in my to-do list so that I can act on it right away. I think that if we have an idea, the sooner we take action, the more likely it is that we actually make it happen. So I'll do that. And also, I ask myself every day, what is one thing that would make me feel the most proud of myself today? And so when I do it, I just feel incredible. So I think that's important. And then I have my angel cards because sometimes it feels good to get guided. And if you don't do this or don't believe in it, you're gonna think I'm nuts. But these cards are so on point. It's insane. And excuse my leftover makeup once again. We gotta get better at removing it, but I get really tired at night. That's when I'm the most lazy. And now's the time where I don't feel like doing my morning sprint, but it's the time where I gotta do it. Gotta do it, let's do it. Guys, I feel like we should do a little ab workout, just 10 minutes of a little home abs situation because yesterday when I was at the gym, I was lacking the ab part of my workout and I think it'd be fun to do together. Usually I do weight training later in the day. I do the sprint in the morning and then I work productively, but a little ab workout in the morning never hurt nobody. This is so not typical me, but I just got gifted this shirt from Pretty Little Thing in these shoes, so I thought I'd try and spice it up. I'm going for a breakfast with my Danish friend who used to be my Danish dance teacher. You were here. This is Simon. He's a star from Denmark. <laughs> so let me see a five, six. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Eggs and potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? So Simon here, he won a green card. I won a green which card. Which is a thing, we wanted to share that because if anyone wants to live in America, green that's card. really crazy that you can do that. How did it work? Green card lottery, you just <laughs> enter and then you wait and then hopefully you win, it's all online. Just be careful because there's a lot of scamming out there with green cards online. You gotta make sure you go through the embassy in your local country. Hard to get a visa to live in the States. And you can enter every year, right? And then every eventually, year. hopefully, maybe me you win. It three years. Wow. Third time's the charm. But now he can just come in, he can work anytime, and that's a freaking awesome thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm gonna sit with my cup and tea and my water and get some work done. And once I'm done with just checking off a few things from my to-do list, we're gonna make some zucchini. No, 
some spaghetti squash, which is so delicious and so easy. But first, let's do this. I really wanna make sure you know that I often film when I'm out and about doing stuff, but most of my days is spent in front of my computer. But that's just obviously not as fun to watch in a video. So I try to film when I'm doing things because otherwise I think it'd be pretty boring, even though I'm having fun in front of the things that I'm doing on my computer, but I don't think you would. Okay, I'll see you for some spaghetti squash in a sec. <laughs> hello, hello. I don't know what it is, but when I'm at home on my computer or just like hanging out, I can't be in any tight-fitted clothes. Are you the same way? I just can't. It's time for some spaghetti squash. We're even gonna make it in the microwave. Also, my new kitchen is kind of in a way that I could start doing a little bit of recipe videos again, if that's something that we wanna bring back. They'll probably be different, but is that something you're interested in? Or I could just completely add it to these vlogs and we can just cook every time we hang out. Whatever you want, let me know, whatever you want. Really, really important. If you're under 18, get your parent to do this. And if you're over 18, be careful. This is so hard. What I'm gonna do is just cut some holes into this so it doesn't explode while it's cooking in the microwave. It's actually really dangerous, so be careful, please. And I'm usually the one who cuts myself, I always have different cuts. I feel like you see that in every video. You could also not do this and just cut it right away, but I really just don't dare to do it. If you do do it, make sure you have a really strong knife. You just don't want to cut yourself. Fingers worth more than that. Now I'm going to put it in the microwave. I'm going to start off with three minutes, then I might give it an extra minute. I just don't want it to explode on me, so with three. And while that's in the microwave, we can grab some, I mean, you can obviously put whatever on top that you want, but I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. I'm gonna add some veggies, some mushrooms. And just because it's easy, I have this veggie mix from Trader Joe's. It's kale and broccoli and carrots and different things. And if you were doing this the right way, you would put in the veggies and cook them first and then afterwards add the marinara marinara sauce, but this is how I do it when I do it because I just want it to be quick and efficient. But obviously, if you have more patience than I do, don't do what I just did. This is ready. I think we can give it another, just another minute to soften it up so it's not as hard to chop. I'm using a bread knife because it's easier. Shoot, I'm doing it wrong. When I say wrong, what I mean is I'm cutting it not in the right place. I want it to be right here, but it wants to go right there. All right, now, shoot. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it look prettier than I am. But now we're gonna put it in there for five minutes. It may need six, but I like to keep it shorter at first and then just double check. I really don't know why, but this is always the finger that suffers. I'm adding some ham. Obviously, if you're not into that, you do not do that, but I like it. Looks like this is pretty much ready. Now we're just waiting for the spaghetti squash. I'll give it another minute. You can like see here, it should be kind of Soft. And while you're waiting for the spaghetti, you can snack on your sauce. I feel like that should be a title for a song. Snack on your sauce. Mm, these are really freaking hot now. And these seeds, first we gotta take those out. And you can save those for later. They're actually really delicious if you just go away this and eat the thing that's inside. I like doing that. You can use that for other recipes or roast it on the pan. And then we can just kind of Turn it into spaghetti. And I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And now, mix in the topping. I'm trying to make this look good for you. Is it working or is it a disaster? I'm okay either way. I'm just actually really excited to eat this. What you can do is sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there if you want. Add some fat, keep you nice and full for longer. I feel like it's either me in this shot or this in the shot. A little tip for you, if you're wearing a white shirt and you're as clumsy as me, don't wear it while you're eating this because I ruined a shirt last time I did it. And I wish someone had warned me, so I'm warning you. Mm. It's so good. I feel like I'm just gonna sit here and make weird noises if I keep the camera on, so I should probably just you guys a little later. I don't know if you can tell. I try to get absolutely everything out of this because it's so delicious. And I didn't start doing this till after getting back to my Ayurveda retreat, so I've really been sleeping on these spaghetti squashes. And if you have two, my friend, this is your sign. No more sleeping on spaghetti squash. It's also really filling. It has incredible 
health benefits. It's in family with the pumpkin and zucchini and squash. It's in the family with. Isn't that what you say? It's related to the squash is the homie of the pumpkin and the zucchini. I've been switching up my oat game recently. I feel like it's just gonna be a phase and then I'll go back to the normal. I've been doing overnight oats. And then what I do is I just put however much oats I want in there. And then I add about half a scoop of this protein powder. It's the one I've been using lately. It's the vanilla ice cream one from One Up Nutrition. And then I just add some blueberries in there. I don't know why I'm doing this while you're so far away. What am I doing? And then my go-to fruit is typically apple, but I wanted to change it up a little bit because I've heard that there's so much good in kiwi. So adding some kiwi. Then I add some raw sliced almonds. I feel like you're not able to see all the beautiful things we've got in here. Am I messing this up? Oh sh yes I am. Wait, I was really trying to do my best to make it look pretty for you guys today, but oh well. And then I like to add dried cranberries. And I use the ones that are 50% less sugar. Then I feel healthier. And those are my overnight oats. I'm trying to make this look good, but I don't think it's working. It tastes good, and that's the most important, right? Also, I forgot to say, I put in oatmeal, protein powder, and cinnamon. And then I put a little bit of milk and a little bit of water, so like half and half. And I use either almond milk or oat milk, just because that's what I've been getting for my coffee. And then I usually have the weird mix of my soup, or you made a soup, the meal prep you saw, and then oatmeal, oh, yeah. or something else. I change it up every day, but not every day. I change it up, but there is no but. This is what I often make. Mm. It tastes so freaking good. And I think you can make it three hours before you're gonna eat it or something. It just needs a little time to absorb in the fridge. I just finished a little leg workout. It was incredible. I'm sorry I didn't film it, but I'm training at 24 hour fitness right now and there's always so many people in there and I don't wanna be filming when there's like people waiting for machines and stuff. But it's one of the workouts from my January challenge. It is very fun. So if you wanna give it a try, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 